I did the drug, but the drug, you know, did me. This is the face of meth addiction. After I started, I ran out of money and couldn't afford my own habit. Then I started allowing people to come in my home and cook, even with my children there. It's a toxic, dangerous, and potentially deadly drug that is infiltrating North Carolina. I think we have to consider this a community-wide problem and one that we've got to attack at all levels. Taking note, the Attorney General's office alongside the Winston-Salem Police Department is launching a new program called Meth 360. The initiative is designed to raise awareness about meth and reduce the community's demand for it. It brings together law enforcement officers as well as substance abuse prevention and treatment folks to co-deliver these presentations and try to bring it down to the community. For the time being, law enforcement officers say that meth isn't all that prevalent here in Winston-Salem. They have yet to make a big lab bust within city limits, and more often than not, they only arrest people who have it within their possession. But the department says it wants to be a part of the solution before it ever becomes a problem. Demand has been established. The supply will follow it instead of just looking in our own backyard. We're watching our neighborhoods, our next state, our counties, that type of thing. The closest meth lab bus to Winston-Salem in recent memory was at this apartment complex in Clemens back in March. However, according to the State Bureau of Investigation, almost 50 percent of North Carolina's meth labs are located in Harnett and Sampson counties. Taking those numbers into consideration elevates the importance of this new program for Chief Cunningham. We want to stop it before it becomes a severe problem. If we had done that in other cases, we might not be in the position that we are today. In Winston-Salem, Becky B. Ryder, News 14.